Animal Mechanical Mission Time! Animal Mechanicals, we Animal Mechanical can! Rex Mechana Strong! Unicorn Mechana Fly! Komodo Mechana Gizmo! Mouse Mechana Fast! Sasquatch Mechana Stretchy! Coaster Island. Animal Mechanical Mission Time! Animal Mechanicals. Good morning, Island Owl. Very big mission today. Wow. Wow. Your destination is Cobra Coaster Island. I love Cobra Coasters. The way you go up, up, up. And then down, down, down. We, we mechana fun. fun. Hmm. More like mechana no fun to me. Oh, you'll see, Komodo. Cobra Coasters are a blast. But there's a problem. For some mysterious reason, the super exciting Cobra Coaster is not working. That's awful! Yeah, why isn't it working? Unknown. Your mission is to find out why and get the Cobra Coaster working again. Mechana, can you do it? We Animal Mechanical Can! I fail to understand what is so much fun about a Cobra Coaster. Komodo, don't you ever have fun? Oh no, I fail to understand the need to have fun. Komodo doesn't know what he's missing. Mm -hmm. Let's try to see why this coaster isn't working. It looks okay to me. Whoa! <laughs> what was that? Hmm, a McKenna banana. Curious. Look! Oh. On the Cobra Coaster! It's a McKenna monkey! <laughs> Aww, he's kind of cute. He may be cute, but I think he's the reason the Cobra Coaster isn't working. Right! The Cobra cars won't work until that mischievous monkey stops tossing McKenna bananas at it. We need to catch him and get him off the tracks. Oh no, he's climbing higher. Uh, he's too high for me to reach. Me too. Who can reach way up there and grab the monkey? Uh, hmm. Wait a minute, I just had an idea. I can reach anything. Behold! The mighty Sasquatch! Makana Stretchy! Come to Sasquatch, monkey! Catch him, Sasquatch! He's getting away! Got to stretch! 
Ouch! Some more! <laughs> I can do this! <laughs> oh, no! The monkey's way at the top of the coaster now! Even the mighty Sasquatch can't stretch that high! There's no way to reach him! Animal Mechanicals can do anything! Unicorn! Mechanicals! Little guy. I have some tricks of my own, Mr. Monkey. Go, Unicorn! Ah! Hey! Where'd he go? I see him. He's hiding. <laughs> we will never get him now. Never say never. If someone was small enough and speedy enough, they might be able to catch him. Small? Speedy? That's my job! Now! McKenna By my calculations, it is impossible to catch that monkey. Nothing's impossible for animal mechanicals. <laughs> because when the going gets tough, we, we team up. up. Time for a mechana monkey trap. Mouse, keep chasing him. I'll make sure he stays down here. Sasquatch, you get ready. Sasquatch, readier than ready. where he will not get into any more trouble. Come on, little guy. Time to go home. <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs> Aww. He wants to have more fun on the Cobra Coaster. <laughs> but it is dangerous for a monkey to be on a Cobra Coaster. Not if he's riding the coaster with us. Yay! <laughs> oh, no. Come on, Komodo. It'll be fun. I don't have fun, remember? Wow! Ah. Hey! Oh, let go of me, monkey! Oh, shoot! <laughs> I think he wants to ride with you, Komodo. <laughs> oh, very well then. One ride, and that's it.
I didn't like it. I loved it! <laughs> that was fun! Mechanic, can we go again and again? Animal Mechanical Cat! <laughs> Yay! Cricket King Island. Crickets are cool! Yes, and it's time to choose and crown the new Cricket King. Um, question. How do they decide who will be king? They choose the new king by finding the best jumper. The cricket who can jump the highest, the farthest, and the fastest is the cricket who becomes king. Fascinating! Yes, but it won't be easy to choose a king. Why? Mechanic crickets can be quite lazy. Sometimes they won't jump at all. Your mission is to find a way to get the crickets to jump high, far, and fast so the new king can be chosen and crowned. Mechanic, can you do it? We animal mechanical can! Let's go! Mechanna Cricket King Island. And there are the crickets. They're sleeping. Island Owl did say Mechanna Crickets can be quite lazy. The Marty Sasquatch will wake them up. Yoo-hoo! Crickets, wake up! It's time to crown your new king. Sasquatch, no! Mechanna Crickets do not like to be woken up. <laughs> You know something, Komodo? Mechanic crickets do not like to be woken up. I knew that. Well, at least they're not sleeping anymore. Yes, but they're not jumping either. We need to find a way to get them to jump high, far, and fast so the king can be chosen and crowned. Let's start with getting them to jump high. How do we do that? I wonder what's in here. Cricket snacks. I bet they're yummy. Whoa! Shh. 
two crickets? My snacks! <laughs> well, the crickets are really jumping now. They want the snacks. And so does Rex. Perhaps we can use the snacks to get the crickets to jump high. Hold the snacks up, Rex. Make them jump high. This is as high as I can hold them. And all the crickets can easily reach the snacks. And that doesn't help us find the highest jumpers. We need someone to hold the snacks up even higher so only crickets who can jump really high can reach them. But who could hold the snacks up high enough? Someone who could stretch really high could. Right. Uh-huh. Too bad no one could do that. <clears throat> Wait a minute. I just had an idea. I could stretch and hold the snacks up high. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? Behold! The mighty Sasquatch! Smakana Stretchy! Wow! Sasquatch is super stretchy! Stretchy like a fantastic elastic! Okay, Rex. Give Sasquatch the snacks. Aw, Rex wants cricket snacks. <laughs> we know. Okay, crickets. Let's see who can reach the snacks now. That one jumped high enough. That one didn't make it. One made it, but one didn't. Got it, and got it. Only four of them jumped high enough to reach the snacks. They are the highest jumpers, so they get to continue on with the Cricket King contest. Now we can see which of these four crickets can jump really far. Go on, crickets. Jump as far as you can. Goodness. Mechanic crickets are the laziest creatures I have ever seen. How are we going to get them to jump far? Cricket snacks. Uh-oh. <laughs> Rex has more cricket snacks. <laughs> Shoo, crickets! My snacks! Hmm. Perhaps we can use the snacks to get the crickets to jump far. Hey! How about over the moat? That's far. Okay, crickets. Who can jump over the moat? They just use the drawbridge. Lazy crickets! What if we raise the drawbridge? Then the crickets might jump across to get the snacks. Let's give it a try. Great idea. Ah, could you hurry, please? The mighty Sasquatch will raise the drawbridge. It won't move. It's stuck. The mighty Sasquatch will not raise the drawbridge. Hmm, I see the problem. The lever is rusty and hard to pull. How can we fix a rusty lever? It's impossible. Nothing's impossible for animal mechanicals. This is a job for... Komodo! Mechana Gizmo! No. Should do it. Good work, Komodo. Quick, Rex, race across the drawbridge, and we'll raise it before the crickets can jump on it. Here I come. Drawbridge going up. Okay, crickets, jump and get the snacks. Only two of them could jump across the moat. That means that the next Cricket King is going to be one of these two. The one who wins the last challenge. To see who is the fastest. How do you find out who's the fastest? I know. They should have a race. Okay, Crickets, get ready to race. On your marks, get set, go. Lazy, Lazy crickets. crickets. Maybe they could race for snacks. Oh, hey, yeah. Not bad. Yes. Oh, no! Snack's all gone! Well, if the crickets won't race, maybe I can be king! Instead of the jumpiest, the new king could be the handsomest! Me! <gasps> Whoa, crickets! Get away! Why are they going crazy? 
I believe they want the crown. Well, at least we know they want to be king. They're just too lazy to do very much about it. But not too lazy to chase Sasquatch. Perhaps the crickets could race for the crown. But I'm not fast enough to keep them away from it. No, but someone is. Huh? Oh, me! I'm fast! I'm... Mouse! McKenna Fast! Go! She's fast! Fast like a rocket! Watch out, Mouse! The crickets are super speedy jumpers! You're fast, Cricket! But I'm a can of faster! My goodness! This is quite exciting! You got me, Mr. Cricket! You're the fastest! And you got the crown! We did it! We crowned the new Cricket King! Animal Mechanicals, mission accomplished! Yeah! Yeah! A cricket snack! I didn't see this one! Yum! Shoo, shoo, crickets! My snack! Rex, maybe you should ask the crickets nicely if you can have a snack. McKenna, can I please try a cricket snack? They say you Animal Mechanical can! <laughs> Yuck! Cricket snacks taste terrible! Treasure Island. Animal Mechanical Mission Time! Good morning, Animal Mechanicals. Good morning, Island Owl. Big mission today! Great! Your destination is McKenna Toucan Treasure Island. I've heard of McKenna Toucans. They love to hide treasure for everyone to find. That's right, Komodo. And today, the animal mechanicals have been invited to find the treasure that the toucans have hidden. That'll be fun! It will, but it won't be easy. McKenna Toucans hide their treasure very cleverly. Animal mechanicals are up to any challenge! Your mission is to find the toucan's treasure. McKenna, can you do it? We animal mechanical can! Thank you. 
Here we are! McKenna Toucan Treasure Island! McKenna Toucans always leave clues about where their treasure is hidden. Fortunately, I have eagle eyes that can find clues easily. Huh? All I have to do is look carefully for the first clue. Ah, uh, Komodo! Not now, Sasquatch. I am searching for a clue. <laughs> Would now be a good time to tell you a toucan is about to drop a clue on your head. Better late than never. Our first clue! How exciting! Hmm. They look like birds, but they're shaped like shoes. A clue that's a shoe? I don't get it. Look! There's more! Something is written on the back. It says, step inside each birdie shoe. The shoes will lead you to your next clue. That's a strange clue. Does anybody see any shoes that look like birds? There! Those look like birdie shoes. How are shoes supposed to lead us to our next clue? The shoes are marching in place. But they're not going anywhere. They're not leading us to the next clue. The clue said to step inside the shoes. They must be McKenna marching shoes. If you put them on, they march you around all by themselves. And lead us right to our next clue. Let's give it a try. I'll put them on. <laughs> Those shoes take giant steps. My legs aren't long enough to walk in them. I'll try. I have flexible athletic legs. Whoa! Oh, my legs aren't long enough either. We need someone who can take really long steps to keep their feet in the shoes. Who could do that? Perhaps someone with long, stretchy legs. Right. Uh-huh. But who? <clears throat> Wait a minute. I just had an idea. I could stretch up and take long, stretchy steps. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? Behold! The mighty Sasquatch! Smakana Stretchy! Wow! Sasquatch is super stretchy! Stretchy like a fantastic elastic! Careful, Sasquatch! Whoa. Those McKenna birdie shoes are taking extra long steps! Whoa. Never fear! There's plenty of stretch left in Sasquatch! The shoes stopped! We must be at our next clue! Do you see a clue, Sasquatch? Nope! Just a bird's nest! Nothing much in here! Ah. Uh. Hey, that might be a clue. You don't say. This one says, sit on and hatch something big and blue, and inside you will find your next clue. Sit on and hatch something big and blue. Uh, I don't see anything big and blue around here. <clears throat> Wait a minute. I found something big and blue. Me! But... How can I hatch myself? Not you, Sasquatch. That big blue egg. Huh? Oh, that might be easier to hatch. <laughs> now all we have to do is sit on it, and it will hatch. The mighty Sasquatch hatching an egg. Sasquatch, be careful. Why is the egg wobbling? I believe it is a McKenna Wild and Wobbly Egg. Get off it. <laughs> Ow. Guess what, Komodo? That's a wild and wobbly egg. You don't say. We have to keep this egg still long enough for someone to sit on it and hatch it. Let's try and hold it down. Whoa! Too wobbly! How can we keep this egg stuck to the ground so we can hatch it? We need something sticky. Glue is sticky. Where would we get glue around here? Leave that to me. Komodo! Makana Gizmo! Nope. No. My 
my ducky. Aha! One mighty McKenna glue gun to the rescue! Handy dandy tool time! A little dab of glue here. And a little dab there. Ta-da! One extremely steady egg glued to the ground. Yay! Now I'll hatch it. Hmm. How long will this take to hatch? Be patient, Sasquatch. You'll know when it starts to crack. Uh, it hatched. I noticed. A little toucan. And it left a clue. It says, follow me through the air and I'll lead you to the toucan's treasure lair. Follow that bird. It disappeared in the trees. I can't follow it. Not way up in the air. Even the mighty Sasquatch cannot follow the birdie. This is a job for... Unicorn! McKenna Fly! Fly, Unicorn! Fly! Unicorn is the coolest! Come on! Let's go! Toucan, but I'm a can and can't do it. <laughs> this way, it flew into that cave. This must be the toucan's treasure cave. Keep your eyes peeled for the treasure. Those toucans hit it really well. I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I found the treasure. You don't say. We found the Toucan's treasure. Animal Mechanicals, mission accomplished. Oh, wow! Yeah. Yeah. Let's open it. Whoa. What's inside? Chocolate coins? Yummy! Awesome. Let's eat them. Huh? Where is the treasure? If I am correct, and I always am. I believe that Rex is hiding with it. Looks like we have another treasure hunt. This time we have to find Rex before he eats all the treasure. Mechanic, can we do it? We animal mechanical can! Or 
Origami Owl Island. Animal Mechanical Mission Time! Good morning, Animal Mechanicals. Good morning, Island Owl. Very big mission today. Wow. Your destination is McKenna Origami Owl Island. Origami? What's that? Origami is the art of making things by folding paper. The origami owls who live on the island are made completely out of paper. The origami owls love to make their own origami creations. But there's a problem. The owls have a special origami creation they want to make, but they've run out of paper. Not good. No, it seems the platypus paper maker that makes all the paper on the island isn't making enough paper for the origami owls to make their special creation. I wonder why. Good question, Komodo. Your mission is to get the platypus paper maker making enough paper for the owls. Makana, can you do it? We animal mechanical can! Makana Origami Owl Island. And there are the origami owls. Look at all the beautiful origami paper shapes they've made. <laughs> they say they are excited about making a special origami creation today. Just like Island Owl said. Well then, they definitely need paper. Ah, the platypus paper maker. Animal Mechanicals, checking it out. So, this papaya thingy makes paper? Yes. The platypus makes paper out of wood. First, the wood is loaded in here. And then the platypus mashes the wood into a pulp. Then the platypus mixes the pulp with water. And a giant mixer blends the mixture into a thick paste. Fascinating. Why does the papaya thingy have such a big beak? Platypus. Right. Sasquatch, be careful. The platypus pounds the paste flat with its beak to make paper. <laughs> Komodo, be careful. The papoose pounds the paste flat with its beak to make paper. Platypus. This is a pretty small piece of paper. Not enough to make a special origami creation. Hmm. I think I know why the paper platypus is not making enough paper. It's all out of wood. Then all we have to do is get more wood. Ah, uh, where does wood come from? I know. Wood comes from trees. Right, Mouse. So we need trees. Does anyone see any around here? Hmm. It looks like there were trees over there, but they're all cut down. Look, an origami owl. <laughs> she says she's a tree farmer, and she grows and cuts down trees for the platypus paper maker. That would explain why all these trees have been cut down. But she said she also grows trees. Why isn't she planting more trees? <laughs> She says she tore her wing and can't plant trees. Poor owl. <laughs> and she needs paper to fix her wing, but there's not enough paper. Because there are no trees. And there are no trees because she can't plant them with a ripped wing. Don't worry, little owl. The mighty Sasquatch will plant trees for you. <laughs> the tree farmer owl says there are tree seeds and fertilizer over there. Turbo tree seeds. We need to plant them in the ground. This ground is really hard. I can't make a hole. Me either. I can't dig. I have very sensitive fingers. This is a job for... Rex! McKenna Strong! Strong! Strong like a titanium Tyrannosaurus! Let's plant the seeds! 
add the fertilizer. That helps the seeds grow. I'll add the fertilizer. Only use a tiny little bit, Sasquatch. Turbo trees grow extremely fast. Hmm, I'll just pour it all in. That should make it grow even faster. There, the seeds are planted. Why aren't they growing? I thought turbo trees grew fast. What else do seeds need to grow? Water. Seeds need water to grow. Hmm. It does not look like it is going to rain anytime soon. This is a job for... Unicorn! Maketa Fly! Unicorn, fly! What's she doing? Amazing! She's using her magic horn to make rain clouds! Unicorn is the coolest! Great work, Unicorn! That should get the turbo trees growing. Ah! Oh, the ground is beginning to shake! What's happening? That tree is out of control! Take cover! Why is that one growing so much? Sasquatch, did you use all the fertilizer? Uh-huh. You shouldn't have done that. As I said, turbo trees grow extremely fast. <laughs> you know something, Komodo? I shouldn't have used all the fertilizer. Turbo trees grow extremely fast. I... <laughs> Do that. Oh no! The tree won't stop growing! It's going to knock over the platypus paper maker! We need to stop that turbo tree from getting too big! But how? It's impossible! Nothing's impossible for animal mechanicals! This is a job for. Komodo! Makata Gizmo! He's trimming the turbo tree! Awesome idea! Tool time is cool time! A little off the top here. A little more there. Ta-da! The tree is under control! Now let's load this wood into the platypus paper maker! Origami owls should have enough paper now to make their special creation. Animal Mechanicals, mission accomplished. Hooray! Here you go, owls. Lots of nice new paper. Look! They fixed the tree farmer owl's ripped wing. Now they're folding the paper into something. This must be the special creation they've been waiting to make. Ooh. A baby origami owl! How amazing! Aw, cute! Uh, a little help here? Sasquatch, what are you doing in there? I was trying to make my own origami thingy. Mechanic, can you guys get me out of here? We animal mechanical can! <laughs>
Mechanicals, we animal mechanical can. Rex, Mechana strong. Unicorn, McCann Komodo, Mechana gizmo. Mouse, Mechana fast. Sasquatch, Mechana stretchy. Makana Cable Carp Island. Animal Mechanical Mission Time! Good morning, Animal Mechanicals. Good morning, Island Owl. Very big mission today. Great! Your destination is McKenna Cable Carp Island. Cable Carp? I've heard of a cable car before, but never a cable carp. A cable carp is a lot like a cable car. Cable cars travel along a big cable up in the air. I love riding in cable cars. Well, cable carps do the same thing. Only they're not cars, they're carps, a kind of fish. Instead of swimming, these carp fish zip along cables to get around the island. That is so cool! Yes, but there's a problem. One of the main cables has broken. Some of the little carps need to travel along that cable to get home. So now they're stuck. Oh no! Their parents must be very worried. Yes. Your mission is to fix the broken cable so the little cable carps can get home. McKenna, can you do it? We animal mechanical can! Let's go! Yes! Yeah! Cable Carp Island! There's a cable carp! Look at it go! And here comes another one! Fascinating! The cables are strung between the bolt trees. What are bolt trees? They're trees that are bolted to the ground. <laughs> I think that's a mama carp. She sounds worried. Quick, let's follow her. Maybe she'll lead us to the little carps and the broken cable. This must be the place. There's the broken cable, and there are the little carps. <laughs> the little carps say they're worried because they can't get home, just like Island Owl said. Don't worry, little carps. We'll get you home. I believe this is what caused the problem. That big rock rolled down the hill and broke the bolt tree that was holding up the cable. Can we find another tree to put in its place? There's one over there. Good spotting, Mouse. But before we move that tree, we need to get rid of this broken one. The mighty Sasquatch getting rid of the broken tree. Sasquatch, you can't just lift a bolt tree. It's bolted down. Guess what, Komodo? You can't just lift a bolt tree. It's bolted down. You learn something new every day. How will we get the old tree out of the way so we can put in the new one? If only we had some sort of tool to loosen those bolts. But where would we get that? I'm the animal mechanical for this job. <laughs> Komodo! <laughs> Mechana Gizmo! Ah, 
Komodo. Why did you yell timber? That's what you yell to warn people that a tree is falling. I wish I'd known that. Me too. Let's get the new tree. First, I'll unfold it. What does that mean again? <laughs> oh, I remember now. It means falling tree. Right. Now to move the tree into position. It's too heavy for me to lift. Me too. Even the mighty Sasquatch is not strong enough. I can't lift heavy things. I have a bad back. I'm on it. Rex! McKenna Strong! Watching Rex lift heavy stuff. And there we are. One new bolt tree bolted safely in place. Need to connect the cable to the top of the tree. Yeah, I can't reach up there. I'm not tall enough. It will take someone very tall and stretchy to reach up and connect the cable. Right. Who could do that? Well, someone who can stretch could. Right. But who? <laughs> Wait a minute. I just had an idea. I could stretch and connect the cable. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? Stand aside, and behold! The mighty Sasquatch! Smakana Stretchy! Just a little further, Sasquatch. There's plenty of stretch left in Sasquatch. That's it. Now attach the cable to the tree. There. That's one end. Uh-oh. I hear something coming. Oh, no. Sasquatch, look out. Cable carts are coming your way. They're so anxious to get to their children, they don't realize you haven't fixed the cable yet. <laughs> and some of the little carps are coming from the other direction. They're going to fly right off the cable. Yikes, what do we do? We need something that can stretch between the trees so the carps can zip across the gap. Right, something stretchy, like me. If only we had that. Sasquatch, you have to be the cable. Stretch your arms. Great idea. I wish I'd thought of that. Goodness, this is quite exciting. I can't look. That tickles. It worked! Okay, Carps, back you go. Let me finish hooking up the cable. I mean, 
and cable car rides. <laughs> Mechanic, can we stay and ride the cable carps all day? We animal mechanical can! <laughs> Mechanical mission time! Animal Mechanicals! We Animal Mechanical can! Rex! Mechanna Strong! Unicorn! Mechanic Fly! Komodo! Mechanna Gizmo! Mouse! Mechanna Fast! Sasquatch! Makana Stretchy! Animal Mechanicals, Makana, can we do it? We Animal Mechanical can! We Animal Mechanical can! Makana Balloonosaurus Island. Good morning, Animal Mechanicals. Good morning, Island Owl. Very big mission today. Woohoo! Yeah! Your destination is Makana Balloonosaurus Island. Isn't that the incredible creature who makes balloon animals? Yes, Komodo. The Balloonosaurus makes amazing animal-shaped balloons. The Makana bunnies who live on the island love to have parties. And most of all, they love balloons. Me too! But there's a problem. The Balloonosaurus's balloons are being blown right off Balloonosaurus Island. Is there a big windstorm on the island? No. That's why it's so strange that the balloons are blowing away. Your mission is to save the balloons. Makana, can you do it? We animal mechanical can! Let's go! Yes! Balloonosaurus Island. There's the Balloonosaurus. And the bunnies. Hi, bunnies. The mighty Sasquatch has come to save your party balloons. Fascinating creature. The Balloonosaurus stores balloons in its tail there and blows it up into a fun animal shape. A monkey balloon. Fun. What was that funny sound? Look, the balloon is blowing right off the island, just like the island owl said. What's that? Whoa! Just as I suspected, that is a Mechanosnorosaurus. Very rare specimen. Ah, uh, Mechanosnora what's this? The Snorosaurus is a very sleepy creature. Huh? Yeah! Once a year, it goes into such a deep sleep that its snores cause a mighty wind to blow. <laughs> 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 
So that's what's causing the balloons to blow off the island. The wind from the Snorosaurus snores. And as long as it keeps snoring, the poor bunnies can't have balloons at their party. The mighty Sasquatch will wake up the Snorosaurus and stop the snoring. Yahoo! Snorosaurus, wake up! Sasquatch, it's impossible to wake a snoring Snorosaurus. And be careful, its snores are quite powerful. Komodo, huh? <laughs> did you know it's impossible to wake a snoring Snorosaurus? And don't stand in front of one. Its snores are quite powerful. You learn something every day. How can we stop the snorry wind from blowing the Balloonosaurus? If it was blowing at me, I'd just move out of the way. Balloonosauruses do not like to move. They need all their strength to blow up balloons. Maybe we can move the Snorosaurus and face it away from the Balloonosaurus. Then its mighty snores won't blow the balloons away. Great idea. Animal Mechanicals, making it happen. It's quite heavy. Too heavy to push. Even for the mighty Sasquatch. We're not strong enough. This is a job for... Rex. McKenna Strong. Watching Rex move heavy stuff. This big beast uh, is really hard to move. I can't budge it a bit. It almost feels as if uh, the Snorosaurus is attached to the ground. Perhaps something is holding it down. What are these big bolts for? If I am correct, and I always am, these bolts are holding down the Snorosaurus. That's why I can't move it. Why would it need to be bolted down? That is an excellent question. Doesn't matter. I'll unbolt it. Stand back and behold the magnificent Sasquatch. Ah, unbolting. I can't loosen this big bolt. Neither can I. Me either. We need some sort of tool. Mouse, do you see any tools around here? This is a job for... Komodo! Makana Gizmo! No. No. Lollipop. One mighty Makana wrench to the I bet I can move it now. It's pounding time! No, Sasquatch! Pounding won't work! <laughs> Where'd it go? I didn't even pound it. Look! The Snorosaurus's mighty snores are so powerful they can actually push it backwards! That's why it was bolted down, to keep it from blowing away! It's heading right off the island! Stop it! The next big snore will send it off the edge. It's going to fall off! Hurry! Grab on! I can't hold it much longer. Too much windy snoring. It's impossible. Nothing's impossible for animal mechanicals. Unicorn! Mechanical!
What's she doing? She is using her magic horn to make wind to help blow the snoring snoresaurus back onto the island. Unicorn is the coolest. The snoresaurus is still slipping. I can do this. Good work, Unicorn. Now, everyone, push. We better bolt the Snorosaurus back into place before it snores again. And be sure to bolt it facing away from the Balloonosaurus so its snores won't blow the balloons away. Let's turn it around! Snoring Snorosaurus safely bolted down. Yay! <laughs> Look, the Balloonosaurus is blowing up a balloon. Look, Mouse, it's a mouse balloon, just like you. <laughs> the Balloonosaurus's balloons aren't blowing away anymore, and the bunnies can have their party. Animal Mechanicals, mission accomplished. Yeah! Huh? More snoring. And it's blowing the balloon away. <laughs> it's Sasquatch. All of the snoring from the snorosaurus must have made him sleepy. Looks like we now have to wake up a snoring Sasquatch. Mechanic, can we do it? We animal <laughs>